Hi guys and welcome back to 7 Sensational Girls. This week's theme is National Disability Awareness Week or Disability Week. Um, so I want to wear raise awareness for I'm going to call it blind disabilities. Disabilities you wouldn't see from the outside of the person. So I'm going to talk a bit about my own disability because I have a disability. I have a 18 chromosome magnopathy, which basically means part of my 18 chromosome is missing and it gives me joint problems, it gives me a lot of learning problems and I react different in certain situations. I can have extreme reactions, I can have mild reactions. Um, I'm, quite, I'm on the mild side I know I don't personally know but I know I've looked at people who are on the swear side of this disability who are in wheelchairs and I always get told oh you haven't got a disability this isn't a disability it's just learning difficulty I am registered disabled by Hampshire County Council like so Yes, I've only got a yellow card as proof, but that is still registered. So it's coming out of a... She's... Not yours. Um, so basically... I know, you don't... Come on, I'm up there. Come on, up there. You can come behind me. Come on. Go on, in the chair. Go on, in the chair. I don't get in a chair, but stop in a pest. Right, coming up. You coming up? Coming in. Go on in. Up, up. Right, she's going to sit behind me while I talk to you. Um. So yeah, basically, my disability, because I'm not on the severe side of it, is a blind disability. Um, and people say, oh, you should be able to get a job and. You should be able to do this and that and this and they don't actually know what some of that entails and yes I get benefits and etc and stuff but there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that goes on with this disability and it's the same with most blind disabilities like if you see someone getting out of a car in a public disabled place and they look perfectly fine don't just assume they are because you don't know their situation and you wouldn't judge someone just from how they look and yeah and um, basically what I'm trying to say is why should blind disabilities be different to normal disabilities like still the same like but the blind disability gets treated more unfairly because they can't see the disability so they're not disabled that's what I'm trying to say because that's how some people judge people with blind disabilities and that's why at the moment people with blind disabilities do not have blue badges because they can't because the disability teams are quite strict at the moment they have to have a physical disability but basically what I'm just trying to wear like so my disability is a blind disability it's an 18 monosome monosome I can't say that word now monosome chromosome disorder which means my part of my 18 chromosome is missing it means it affects me in different ways basically basically I have this main problem is learning condition, learning disabilities, which means my brain doesn't function as straightforward as a normal person. So when I was in year five at primary school, we didn't find out about my disability till year five. But some of the teachers at my primary school treated me like I was a naughty child when I got to, I think it was year four or five. And because they treated me as a naughty not child and like made me centre attention, 
I then got picked on by people in school because of that teacher but she made it out to be my own fault turn it on me and to be honest she was just a bad teacher unfortunately she still covers that school sometimes um so yeah basically i was isolated by a teacher and basically picked on by a teacher and students my mum dealt with it but let's just say that was an interesting school then I went to a special school called, not going to name it, the school, but it was a really good special school. And my first teacher was lovely, and I had her again in year six, year 11, and she again was lovely. And we're actually friends now, like outside of school. We've become really good friends. I meet up with her every now and then. Um, but she's helped me through a lot, like relationships, like. I find friendships and relationships the most difficult thing with my condition because I never know who is a real friend and who is just pretending to like me because if they get close enough they can like wrap me around their finger. If you get what I'm saying, I don't know, use me in a way they shouldn't use me. and. So I'm really careful who I become friends with and there was people I didn't get on with school that I do not want to reconnect with but then there's people I do want to reconnect with and it's just one of those things like I feel, what's the word? <sighs> oh yeah, I'm really tired. Um, It's hard to know where you stand with people and you don't want to ask out straight, ask them out right because you then they think you're being rude. And then my relationships, well, my longest relationship with a boy has been two years. He was my first boyfriend. Um and it was a good relationship, but we wanted different things and I broke it off with him but yeah it's just and then I went through quite a few boys and still none really fitted me if you get what I said and then some of the people I was talking about earlier made people go out with me as a joke and a wind up and then I ended up being quite annoyed with them I remember my first crush at that school was in my year and we were doing something in maths and um, he was having a joke with me and um, sorry my dog's behind me having a joke with me about Yorkie bars because this, we were doing something I think we were doing units or something and they had these things in the buckets and they had a Yorkie bar bu bucket and me and mum have always eaten Yorkies, the ones that have the thing with the woman on, when there's a circle and there's a woman. I think they've stopped that now because of um, gender discrimination or something. And he was um, saying, oh, girls can't eat that, girls can't eat I'm like, well, me and mum do. And he's like, well, you shouldn't because it's only for boys, blah, blah, blah. So, I... She not done this, but it's my reaction when people really get on my nerves and don't shut up and just go on and on and I will smack them because just how my body reacted back then. Because I didn't know how to control my emotions. I didn't know how to, what's the word, express how I was feeling. But he was irritating me so much and I just went off. Honestly, I, I did apologise. I got in serious trouble at school. And now me and him joke about it. Like, I still see him occasionally. We still talk on Facebook. Um, but, yeah, it was quite... My learning difficulty, because it... It all has autism in and dyslexia and stuff. It all, like, affects me in different ways. Like, my mental age at the moment it's probably like 10, 
30, 10 to 13 years old. My actual age is 25, but mentally, my brain's not mentally caught up. Like, I may look like a... Well, I actually still look, think I look younger than 25. I still think I look under 17. So I've got a scratch. So, what I'm trying to say is, like, mentally, um, with the autism and that, my body reacts differently and I can be triggered any minute. One of my fears when I was younger was dressed up people. I've got a lot better since. And like, I can stand dressed up people now. But what I'm saying is, this is affecting me and this is my dis disability story about my blind disability. So, if you see someone getting out of a car park bay, getting it all out of a car who parked in the safe bay and they do not look physically dis disabled, don't judge because you might not know what goes on behind the scenes. You don't know if they've got a blind disability. And this, these nowadays, any discrimination is a no-go because it's not fair. I tried to get a job a couple of years ago when I had just turned 17 and they said, oh, it's on a busy period, she wouldn't be able to cope just because I had learning difficulties. Like, what's all that about? I could have sued, but there was no point because I had no proof except for mum and me asking and I'm saying that to my mum. Because they wouldn't even say it to my face because they think they would upset me. And they could at least have given me a trial because a trial is better than nothing. But they weren't even going to do that. And I still go and shop in that shop to this day. But I would never ever work in that shop. Because there's no point. Because they discriminate against people like me. And discrimination against anyone with a blind learning disability is unfair and uncalled for. Right, that is the end of an international, not international, National Disability Week or Day video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to Seven Sensational Down. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to know more about me personally, go to my main channel which is down below. It's Lucy B's World. And I will see you guys next Fabulous Friday. If you want this theme again, or you want videos similar to this, let me know in the comments again. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!